Kairos, also known as Istaroth, is one of the four shades created by the Primordial One. She is a god with dominion over wind and time. Before she was forgotten, she was worshipped by Enkanamia and Mondstadt. She also helped Makoto 500 years ago to plant the sacred Sakura. And she's the reason why the Helios and Enkanamia was built. And the statue in Inazuma most likely represents Istaroth. Because first of all, that statue is called the Omnipresent God. And Istaroth was described to be every moment. Second of all, the statue in Chinese is called the Statue of the Thousand-Armed and Hundred-Eyed God. While one of Istaroth's titles is the Thousand Winds. Third of all, the statue has an amulet that looks like the Eye of the Storm which appears in the Nameless Island puzzle, which is associated with Istaroth. And lastly, the statue symbolizes eternity. Well, not only does Istaroth represent eternity due to her titles, but time and eternity are stated to be connected. Eternity is a concept intimately connected with time. Now, after we finally know who is Istaroth, I will now explain the theory of this video. Vendi being a creation of Istaroth, According to the sacrificial weapons, the master of Anemo Barbados and the mistress of Time Kairos are intimately related. As there's a famous saying, Anemo brings stories while time nurtures them. And there exists more sayings such as, an ancient tale comes whisked in the wind. In time, it will grow and sprout once again. Stories brought by the wind will bloom into legends in due time. Seeds of stories brought by the wind and cultivated by time, this last saying is what Benny says. Here are some examples. Seeds of stories brought by the wind and cultivated by time. Seeds of story brought by the wind. And cultivated by time. Uh, did Paima just unconsciously complete that saying? If you go to the Nameless Island for the first time, you'll get this achievement. Seeds of story brought by the wind. In the island, you can find a note left by someone, which once again confirms that the island and the Thousand Wind Temple are related to Istaroth. We also got more confirmed evidence that she and Barbados are connected. Well, not only these two gods can manipulate a Nemo, but they also have some time-related abilities, as Vendi knows songs from the past, present, and future. I'm the best bard in the world. There's not a single song I do not know, no matter if it's from the past, present, or future. The Thousand Winds can refer to two things. As I said before, one of Istaroth's titles is The Thousand Winds. As stated in the book The Byakuya Koku Collection Volume 3, The Thousand Winds can also mean the winds that protect Mondstadt, since it's stated in the Skyward Spine Weapon. Well, now, after we know what the Thousand Winds are, I would like to tie them to Venti. Firstly, he can control the Thousand Winds, as stated in the Skyward Heart. Huh? How are you staying afloat like this with just a wind glider? I'm preventing your fall with the power of a Thousand Winds. Now, concentrate. See yourself grasping the wind. Harness its energy. Vendi was also a thread and a wisp of the Thousand Winds, as seen in Vendi's character Story 3. Back then... I was but a wisp among the thousand winds. I wasn't a god of anything. I didn't even have a human form. I was just a tiny elemental being who lived in the wind. A gentle breeze bringing subtle changes for the better. Or tiny seeds of hope. And finally, Vendi's third constellation mentions the thousand winds. A striking similarity between the statues of Barbados and Istaroth is the pair of wings. In Vendi's Archon form, we can also see his wings. When trying to enter Makoto's realm of consciousness, a place where time is meaningless and cannot be understood with ordinary logic as stated by Ye Maiko, we can see some glimpses of Cecilia flowers. And as we all know, Makoto got help from Istaroth in all of this. Well, I'm not convinced that it was Makoto's power alone. I know what you mean. Perhaps Makoto got a higher power involved in all of this. 
These flowers can only grow near the Thousand Winds Temple. So from this I think that Cecilia flowers are associated with Istaroth. And who else is connected to Cecilia's? It's none other than Vendi, because it's what he uses as his ascension materials. It's used in his special dish. It appears on his TCG card, on his friendship level 10 name card, his wooden lyre. Multiple Cecilias can be seen in his splash art, and one can be seen on his hat. And let's not forget that the Cecilias are his favorite flowers. Traveler, have you ever seen a Cecilia? It's a magnificent white wildflower that only grows on the most remote mountains and cliff tops. To me at least, it's the most beautiful flower in all of Tevat. As we all may already know, the Triquetra is a symbol used in ancient civilizations that worship the Primordial One and the Four Shades. Same case for the Thousand Winds Temple. Well, the Triquetra symbol can be found on Vendi's clothes. And even the Cecilia on his hat looks like a Triquetra. After all the similarities and parallels we've seen between the two gods, we can assume that Barbados and Kairos are related. Vendi could be a creation of the Shade of Time, which might make him basically her son. Well, after all, he was called a son by the whisperings of the Cecilia flowers, but specifically, a prodigal son. A prodigal son is a son of a family who left to do something that the family disapproves of, and has now returned regretting what he has done. 